the adult entertainment industry, and we'll see a lot of um, statistics, but it's a, I think I'm quoting this right, overall it's a $97 billion industry, and the internet portion of that is $13 billion, and they're generating their income by targeting our children. And we'll see a lot of ways that their that pornography is specifically attacking our children. And now we just don't have the computer to be concerned about. We've got cell phones. A lot of children have internet on their cell phones. And maybe you have not given your child a cell phone or you've not activated internet on your child's cell phone, but their friends have it. Mm -hmm. So this is information that you need to be sharing to make sure all children are protected. We've also got these gaming devices. They are um, online playing. There's so much pornography embedded in these games that are just like the movies. You go to a PG-13 movie hoping it's going to be decent for your family, and you're horrified. Same thing with these games. There is so much just <coughs> disgusting content um, in these games. And then you've also got MP and M3 players um, that they also can access pornography on. So it's a huge problem, and your eyes are going to really be opened on how they attack us and how we can turn back around and attack, attack them. I um, have specifically purchased misspelled names. One of the most tragic that I have found in teaching this is that Facebook is a very popular social networking site for our youth. And if you go to F-A-E-C-B-O-O-K, -O -O it is the worst triple X porn you have ever seen in your life. Mm -hmm. And you think about how many children are, st are accidentally misspelling that and stumbling across that. The images that it put in my head took me probably a good month, and I would just say, Satan, get behind me. I just can't, I can't think about it because it imprints, and it will talk about, our class will talk a lot about what actually physically happens when you're exposed to pornography. Chatting, and you look at the instant messaging that they do, and you look at the social networking, all of that opens up your child to come in contact unintentionally with a predator. And they'll talk about this, but it's so interesting how now Facebook is so popular that a friend refers a friend that refers a friend. When you think about it, you get out so many layers, you don't actually know who that person is that you're communicating with. So even as an adult, kind of think about how this can apply to your own life online and then how um, you can implement it for your children. Because we want to, I want to be safe too. I don't want you know, someone to try to abduct me, not knowing who, you know, who I am or what. We have all got to be very careful. And I don't want to be exposed to something that's going to imprint in my mind and have to get it out. So AOL has a great parental control site that you can go to. It tells you to go online to where your children have their mobile phones, your T-Mobiles, your AT&Ts. There are parental control sites there. So you can limit the content coming into your cell phone because they can even get text pornography um, and text pictures. So just because you don't have the internet set online, that's still going to be a risk for you. So just be aware of that.